Blade Podcast, the best skateboard podcast in the world. Today is June 9th, 2015. Uh, I should have said Tuesday, right? No, today's Tuesday, Tuesday, June 9th. I'm eating shrimp, and I'm with my boy. Oops, I spilled sauce on my shit. I'm with my boys, Michael Medina from JunkieMonkeys.com. Yay, yay. His camera's working today, so we don't got to worry about him. He was the ghost last week, but we fixed it up. And then we also got Sebastian Corral, also from the Junkie of the Monkeys dot com. What's up? I'm gonna go grab a, a quick paper towel. We'll get started with the best thing to happen. Uh, the best skateboard video made to Netflix. Let's start with your thoughts first. Uh, Michael Medina, what do you think about that? Plan B, true, best skateboard video ever made. Oh my God, you're fucking gay. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say about that one, dude. Yo, but honestly, that is like a step in the right direction, though, right? Yeah, yep. and I'll, I'll agree. I'm back. I got the towel. We're cleaning shit up here today. You know, we make messes and we clean it up. Uh, I'll tell you why it's a good thing, and I, I, I glad that I'm glad. The, all right, let's step back a little bit. Let, let's make sure that my, my, my quote saying the best skateboard video ever made. It's, it, I highly enjoy it. Michael Medina, for some reason, somehow, some way, he thinks I'm a Plan B Girl Scout. Like I, I'm all over here just all day, all day every day. Plan B plants the B all day, baby. Plan B is great. Don't get me wrong. I, it, it was a great video, great stepping stone. Uh, it's gripes. It's gripes are still there to stay. I guess we could. We there, there's a lot of ways I could variate into this conversation, but let's stick to the topic. The topic being is that a skateboard video made it to Netflix, and they, they, everyone found out. I I, 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 was, I randomly was scrolling through on my phone, just randomly scrolling through, and like you know how like it uh it'll show like the featured, like it just like randomly like put like shit that they just put on there, or whatever. Right, right. right. And it just showed up, and I was like, holy shit, man, no way. But I'm kind of bummed at the same time because I paid ten dollars for that shit. Yeah, man. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, and I it's not the first video, right? Are they, are, are they the first to do that? Is they are they the first ever to do that, Sebastian? To throw throw a skateboard video, a legit skateboard video, not 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 waiting for lightning, not a skateboard documentary, a legit skate video. Is that the first one to ever show up on Netflix, Sebastian? I would say so. I haven't seen anything before, and I think everyone thinks like, oh man, it'd be cool if we got like a platform where we could see like videos like that. I guess have already been released, but maybe not have been licensed to people to actually stream to the public, like, without getting into copyright issues. So I think it's a pretty cool step forward. You know, it's a huge step forward. And you know what? They are the first to set the bar on that. This will be the standard that happens. What the time frame duration is, like what my boy Medina said, it's all going to be a factor. Uh, I, I, I predict that we'll see the Vans video, if not this month, next month. I think in the same thing. I'm also surprised that Pretty Sweet wasn't the first one to make it to Netflix. I thought that would be the first one to make it there for sure. Hmm. That's a good thought. I wish they would put up old videos. Yeah, that's I, oh, that's another thing I want to talk about. I wish that they would throw like like old like super good like classic videos up there, not like no bullshit. You know, like yeah. just the OG like big name titles. That'd be tight. Big name titles. We want the big name titles. What? So so if it was your choice, Corral, what would you say? Would you like up there next? Uh, I'd go with Vans and uh, probably one of the newer HD videos just to maybe just bring more of an audience to skateboarding who wouldn't normally see it. But then also it's it's cool for us because we get in full resolution to stream whenever. Yeah, yeah. Are you a Netflix subscriber, Sebastian? I am. What, what was the last movie you've seen on Netflix? Uh, last movie? Uh, shoot. I think American Psycho. Awesome. So Plan B came out last November? Around there. Or I think early December, was it? I don't, I don't remember. remember. Oh, yeah, no, I, know, I think it was November. The world premiere was in November. Yeah. Okay. And now it's it's six months later. You know, that's a good marketing. That's a, that's a good marketing strategy. I agree. That's a good now it's like any, you, you throw the video skateboard. out six months, six months. You know, regardless, Medina, regardless of what your thoughts are on Plan B or whatever, whatever video, if you were, you were hyped on the next video, let's say it'll be uh, let's say it'll be uh, the mother video comes out, right? Mother, bam, Dang, comes, that'd out, be tight. comes out June, right? Comes out in June. You would not wait six six months to wait for the 
You're not gonna wait six months for that motherfucker to come out on Netflix, right? So you can get it anyway. Cop that shit that day. Yeah, you'll cop it that day. You will cop it that day, and I think skateboard. Well, unless you're certain individuals who like to download that shit illegally because y'all too cheap. Dude, I don't know who that is. Yeah, I don't That's know who that is either, but fuck that guy, right? Fuck that yeah, guy. I, don't know. I got the video. Pizza, fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Propeller was raw as fuck. Wait, wait, no, hold on. Wait, no, no, yeah, stop talking. I want to know what your opinion is. Yeah. Your humble, honest opinion. I'm going to start with you, Medina. On what? About, skate, about skateboarders who, who are all about, who are all about what? Let's support the skateboard. No, 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 no. They don't say anything. Let's say skateboarders. Who, who do not support skateboard uh, companies by buying skateboard videos, copyright infringement, Would you, or or, down, or uh, uh, pirating? I'm sorry, pirating. What's your opinion on it? My opinion is that the whole fucking genre of skateboarding, as as a skateboarders in general, we're somewhat like outlaws, right? Like we do what we fucking want to, we do what we think is cool, kind of shit. So it's like. Yeah. You're asking that same group of people to not illegally download skateboarding videos. Like, get the fuck out of here, dude. That's never gonna happen. And that never. So no, 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 no. My my opinion is: Do you think do you think skateboarders should be supporting skateboard companies to be buying skateboard videos? I think the skateboarders with money should be. Okay. Fair enough. I think that I think that fucking the kid who's not having that's, business, how, that's how you feel, man. Preach it, brother. Preach. Preach it to the skate guy. Yeah, say I mean, fuck you, motherfuckers. I am I uh I mean not not saying that you do or you don't actually you know I'm a, I'm asking that next question do you buy skateboard videos or do you illegally pirate them I mean I got the Vans video from a friend but I got True <laughs> Deathwish Pretty Sweet yeah. uh Nyjah what else did I buy I bought I bought a good amount on fucking iTunes I'll say that. Uh-huh. Okay, so would you would you say that you buy skate the, the skateboard videos that you buy, those are the ones that that you just felt in the mood to buy them, or you're like I'll spend my hard-earned money on it, or I really like this video so I'll spend the money on it, but other videos I don't like I won't spend money. I'll download, watch it, and see if it's good or not. More so, like I'm gonna spend money on a video that's hyped up. Like I didn't I didn't buy um. What was the Zero video? New Blood? Or no, not New Blood. Um, uh, old, old, old War? I'm sorry, Cold War, the newest one. I didn't buy that shit, but like I bought True and I bought um, the Death Wish video just because I had to watch those, you know? Yeah. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Uh, Sebastian, what do you think about pirating skateboard videos? Is it good, um, or, is it good or bad? I see it two different ways. Like, sure. I don't think... Share both opinions. I don't think Vans is going to be hurting by me not buying their video, yeah. knowing that I went to the premiere first and I paid money to get into it. Right. But if it's something, let's say, like more skater-owned and you know like the money's going straight to skateboarders like Baker 3, I bought this probably like a month ago again. So I just wanted a hard copy. And then I also bought Static 4 towards my birthday because I went to the premiere for that too, which I... Paid, but then I was so psyched on it that I wanted to support the hard work that went into independent videos. I'm more likely to buy independent videos, actually. Just uh, I was going to ask you that. Me, me not well, so much. I don't buy independent videos. I would rather watch an independent video at this point. I, I, honestly. Well, I, I honestly don't. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about it. It's not, it's not as big in production value. If the homies are in it, I, I'll support it the best way I can, but I'm not out there. Seeking the independent videos. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. I'll take. Did you I'll watch take the word for it. I I go into videos with a try to go into videos with open mind. I try to anyway. Uh, Did you watch the Brian video? If, if there'll be, yeah, yeah. I'll answer that in a second. Uh, I I want to finish this point real quick. Uh, I'll <laughs> I'll be open minded to like if Medina, you Sebastian, were to tell me you got to peep this video out, homie. Next next. Next Costin, next next Jocelyn. <laughs> right now, right now, all over the internet, typing fucking buttons all day, baby, all day on Google. I'll listen to it, but I'm not, I'm not avidly, I'm not, I'm not actively searching. What's what's the next best independent video? What what was your question? What video did I ask? Did you ask if I saw the Browns video? Oh, oh, that shit's great, man. Browns Palace. You it's should definitely check that one out. 
Nope, haven't seen it. That one, like, that one straight up made me want to go out and skate. Like, right then and there. Okay. All right, well, let's, let's talk about something else. Let's talk about something. Since we're on Plan B, let's talk about something Plan B's doing, man. Talk black about Ice. Black, fucking Black Ice, son. It's a, black it's, ice. A new, it's a new frontier, baby. Black Ice all day. New frontier. Yeah, you realize that there's, uh, they just remade the slick boards from the 90s, right? And the real ones that came out a few years ago. No, I don't. I don't know that. Tell, tell me about this, man. Because I thought I thought they're on some new age shit. You tell me they're on some old booty shit. Dude, one of my first boards when I was fuck, dude, 13, 12, 13 years old, uh-huh. was blind, and it was like a mushroom graphic, like a mushroom cloud blowing up, and it was a fucking slick graphic. Uh-huh. And I'll be damned if that thing didn't slide forever, dude, forever. Same, same, like, you think it's the same technology? You're saying. It's gotta be. It's just. It's like young Medina, just like learning no, no slides and just fucking slide, just going, man, just fucking going. Uh huh. But uh-huh. I mean, it's gotta be the. It, what is it like that they're offering? It's just the same thing. It's a slick, right? And real already did it, like Sebastian said. Yep. I like how they marketed though. They're like, yeah, we've had this for two years, but now we'll let you guys use it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah <laughs> man. Yeah, we yeah, we've, been, we've been using the black eyes for years, man. It's some. It was shit. definitely a good idea to use T-Puds for that ad too. Just to like show the secret of how he slides a hundred feet or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Because he's other like, than like a huge bar of wax. You want to know, you want to know what sold me was PJ. Because PJ, you never see PJ in any type of video talking at all about anything. Talk about, he he he'll hardly tell you how to do the trick tip. In his, in his, uh, <laughs> remember the DC trick tips? I remember trick that. Fundamentals. He barely talked on that shit. So when he, <laughs> when he tells you and he talk he talks to you about some shit, I listen. Let the gods preach. His words hold weight. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I. That's that. That's the point I'm trying to say here. So the black eyes. <laughs> so you're. Uh. So so it's old technology. You're saying, huh? You think? I mean, yeah. I'm sure that they figured out little fucking different little polymers and shit to put in there or whatever. You know, but I wanna, you know what I want to do, Medina? I wanna. Okay. I wanna get you one, and I want you. I want you to skate it. I want you to tell me. If it is not the same blind shit that you skated, dude, I would love to, but I'm not trying to pay for a Plan B board, man. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I wanna, I might, I, I think, I'm thinking about it right now. I don't know if I want to do it yet. I don't know if I want to buy you a, a sixty dollar skateboard. I mean, I'll write about it. I'll take pictures. I want to make, I'll make I wanna, a better, I uh, some way, a better uh, wear test, or I'm not coming back off a of fucking ankle injury and shit. Yeah. Uh, did you see the comments on the wear test video? Oh, I loved them. Dude. I loved them. I, was, I, was, I laid in bed and I was literally laughing out loud to these comments, man. They were fucking great. <laughs> well, well, the top comments I replied to, I think I, I only replied to one, and he said, he said, hell yeah, wear test. I know, good to know that the, the shoes last for 10 tricks. I was like, I, like, what do, you, what do you want from a wear test video? Do you want like three <laughs> months of footage put well, into know, this? I never, heard, I never, ever heard a wear test ever. And until until it came out of your mouth, I never heard of it. It's a great concept. Actually, you came up. If, if this is old, then I apologize. I maybe may, I'm I'm not familiar with wear tests. I'm certainly aware of uh, unboxings. If you're if you're familiar with the gaming industry, uh, I'm aware of uh, little reviews, interviews. Uh, but I've uh, the wear test method. Th- th- this one I'm trying to think of a wear te- a proper a proper wear test would be. You scan the fuck out of it until some type of wear, physical wear, damage, shoelace rip. Hole. I agree. Yeah, that, they have them at the that, barracks. That's legit wear yeah, tech. that's where I got the idea from, is from the barracks. Yeah, my friends, well, my friends went to the New Balance one, and they got, they like, everyone just gets a pair of shoes, and you just skate for hours. Mm. I guess you get them feedback. I don't know how it, like, ends up, but, like, you just end up with a free pair of shoes. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, they do that at Skate Copa too. They just give everyone shoes. Okay, we got we got black guys down. We got the we got the new barracks on the. I mean, not new barracks. We got the Plan B video on Netflix. Uh, we got barracks shit. You mentioned barracks right now. About the barracks, what happened this weekend? Uh, Morgan Smith and Lawan and Moose and Shane. Sebastian, did you see those games? Yes. Now, you know what? For the first time, man, you beat me to the punch because I didn't. Tell me, tell my boy Morgan won. Tell me he won. Tell me when he. Tell me he won. No way. What? No, way. no he didn't. You can't beat that Brazilian former, fucking. Former, former back champion lost. Yep. You said he played Luan. Two of them now, man. Two. Did Did he play Luan? 
Yeah. yeah. Damn. Maybe, maybe the speed was intimidating. Probably. <laughs> maybe the I could see that. Luana's is too good at everything. Fakey hard flips? That trick's fucking weird, man. I love that trick. That trick's so fun. Got those? <laughs> yeah. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I want you to I'll go tomorrow, you if not tonight. I want you to f I want you to ta have your girlfriend one of your best friends film you doing a fakey hard flip on flat. I rolled my ankle, but I'll still do it. That's how. <laughs> put, it, put it on Instagram. I want to see. Right. It. I want to see it. I'm gonna. Yeah, we'll you. Hey, don't be throwing out trick challenges, Drew. Uh, why? Because where the fuck you is don't your do them for that? Because what? Because where the fuck is you don't your do your trick that? challenges? Where the fuck is what? No, no ha have Mike talk one more time. What'd you say? Where is your skateboard at? When's the last time you rode the thing? Let, let's talk about something else. Yeah, so, right. That's what so I Michael, thought. Ma Michael Medina, who, who was the other game to skate in the Battle of Barracks? Uh, Moose and Shane. <coughs> so did, your, did your 2015 Sodi come through? Of course he did. Damn, man. <laughs> I don't want him to win anything. Excuse me? Exactly. All right, hold on, wait, hold on, hold on. Before I get off on something, uh -huh. I mean, it's a different topic, but whatever, I don't give a fuck. All right, so there, Nike SB is doing a collab with Primitive to, like, give them their own signature shoe or some bullshit, right? right. Nike SB, okay? They've never done anything like that before unless it was, like, the Supreme or the fucking Diamond Supply bullshit or whatever. But check it out, okay. Why, why the fuck are they doing this collab when my boy Shane does not have a pro model yet? Pro model shoe? Yeah. Well, Pierrot holds the most weight at that company. I understand that he does, because what if he had, like, 10, 8, 9, 10, whatever the fuck? Yeah, like, really seriously, man, like, how is this guy Shane O'Neill not have a pro model shoe when he's known as, like, one of the, like, straight, like, skateboarding, like, wizards, like, with the board? Like, are you kidding me? How does he not deserve a pro model over anyone else, for that matter? Primitive come through all day, every day. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think... Oh, man. I think... I think Paul... Is the best skateboarder in the world. That's a bold statement. I think he's the best skateboarder in the world. Paul Rodriguez? Like right now, or like no, has no, ever no, lived? Ever, uh, right now, until 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 he's dead, he'll always be the best. Damn, that's Not, cool. he's the best. It is bold, but I mean, I can't really like argue with you necessarily. Yeah. He's done some fucked up shit. He's the best, baby. He's the best. He's best on and off the skateboard. Uh, Shane, yeah. Yeah, I'd say, uh, that that was just stupid trees that I was saying right now. But I do I do uh, I do believe in that statement. Just to just to be stupid, on on a real level, yeah, man, Shane, Shane. I think Shane deserves a pro model. I think um, I think uh, Ashad deserves a pro model. Absolutely. Sure. And uh, I'll even go as far as say I'll go as far and say that um. Corey Kennedy, man. And Justin, I'd say Justin Brock. Maybe like five years ago. Yeah, I agree. He's not as relevant as any of those three names you just like that we're talking about. I don't give a fuck, man. That well, that's what I'm saying, man. He never. Wait, so wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, he ain't never gave it. Give it to him right now. Give it to hold him. Hold on, hold on. Wait, who's had a Nike Pro model then? Uh, you guys, um, Omar Salazar. No. Kirod, Omar Salazar, Brian Anderson. Brian Anderson. Janowski, uh, obviously. Yeah, Janowski. <laughs> and then Eric Costin. And then Costin. Yeah. Is that it? That'd be it, bro. Oh, wow. That's fucking lame. That's the end of the story. That's super lame. Is Shimizu still on? Probably. He never had a shoe, did he? Yeah, no, I, think he had a shoe. No, I just want to know if he's still on. God, he's, man, not on really he's not on Nike anymore. He's not on, huh? I don't even know who's on that team anymore, man. They have so many fucking people. Probably got rid of them. So you don't you, you don't like the fact that Primitive and Nike did a collab, huh? I don't hate on that. I just hate on the fact that Shane doesn't have a pro model and he's going to be skater of the year this year. No, it just has nothing to do with Primitive. You just, you just bitch him to bitch. You just, you, uh, you just bitch him because cause your 2015 Sodi. Is not one not gonna get Sodi, but he's not gonna get a fucking pro shoe either. He's absolutely gonna get Sodi, but he'll probably not get a pro model shoe. What what does it take to get a pro model shoe on Nike then? Millions of dollars prior to getting your shoe? Well, wasn't there that whole thing where I forgot where I heard this from. 
But a, a skateboarder commented about it too. About a uh, Shane was getting checks from Nike in another shoe. You heard about that? I have no idea what that means. He was like bullshit in Nike. He was getting checks from Nike and what? What was the other company? Adidas? Mm, that doesn't sound Does anybody right. Know? Does anybody know out there in the, into the skateboard world? I could be wrong. I think they know. It's probably it's probably best not to comment on these rumors. I don't know. What I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, I have never even heard this before. Yeah, they, ignore. I said that. How many of you like the dog? Oh, you you. I know you didn't write it, Sebastian, because you weren't born. Did you ride Mark Johnson's America shoe, Der um, Michael Medina? No, I never had it, but my homie, like what my neighbor down the street did. I had the Reynolds. I bought the Reynolds. We both bought Americas at the same time, and I bought the Reynolds instead. Well, you know who's a fan of it? It's Brian Herman. The Crow Couch, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed that they yeah. threw two Crow Couches this week, man. <clears throat> I, they probably posted more, but I only cared about two. The Reynolds, Mike Carroll, and the Brian Herman, Mark Johnson. That one was sick. Yeah, those were pretty good. Those were very good episodes. <laughs> Uh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed uh, Rick Howard saying, oh, yeah, you're back on four-star. Reynolds, don't even worry about it. You're back yeah, on. Yeah, that was hilarious. Did you, you just back on. You just straight up said, I'm sorry. <laughs> did, I wonder if he left four-star for a crew. I wonder if it was I that crew. Yeah. No, I think he just to start Altamont, wasn't it? No. No, he was on oh, crew yeah. before. He was on crew before. Um, yeah. Before. Oh, okay. He was definitely on crew because I, like, for some reason, had this weird, like, image of him with the black crew hoodie on. Oh, yeah, never mind. I remember. <laughs> yeah. Medina, what you got on the... Uh... Oh, you know what? I wanted to talk a little bit about... Because I mentioned it was the Brian Herman, uh, Mark Johnson. I enjoyed that one because I I also did never never had the opportunity to ride the Mark Johnson Americas. Uh, I also never had the opportunity to ride the Taj Townens. And I was a big fan of that shoe. had the fat-ass T on the side. I used to like that dude a lot. Uh, I did too, man. Tosh was the best. Mm -hmm. He was one of the best ever. Uh, for his age, he was really good. Tail slide and everything in, uh, on site. <clears throat> yeah, his hand room. American video was really, really great. But I think I think his the uh, the creme de la creme was the uh, his um, sight unseen video part. Have you seen that, Michael? I'm sure I have, but God, I mean, not off the top of my head, can I think of it? One of the best Transworld videos ever made. That's One of the dope. Most videos Transworld, ever. Transworld, like when they decide to actually make a video project, it's always the fire, dude. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you think you you think uh, PM twenty five was the fire? Because I I'd say no. I mean, uh, in, like in comparison to others, no. But I mean, it was still a good video. Yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't fully hate on it because Tom, Tom Remlard's on it and he's a homie. Jimmy Carlin, uh, his, his part was good. Yeah, I was gonna say Locker Jimmy Ryan. Carlin's in it, isn't it? And then, uh, and then um, Walker so Ryan, Dallas, Salas Baxter, Neal, Walker Bowden. Ryan, Switch God. I, I'm just naming names, but <laughs> the, the the caliber of it, the the, the spe it wasn't as special like it was sight unseen or even in bloom. In bloom will forever, forever, my life be a deciding factor of. Oh, that's what, what I think of when I think of Transworld videos. I really like Outliers, so fuck y'all. You said you like what? <laughs> Outliers, the newest one. That one was really good. I it like completely switched it up. I'd say. Just Did really I watch that one? It's really good. Brad Cromer's last part was like my favorite part last year, among others. But I'll say that's my favorite. <laughs> so who's your favorite? Who's your favorite part this year? Dan O'Neill. Nah. I have to think about that. I'll tell you by the end of the podcast. I'll be my shout out. <laughs> and I, uh, let, let me let me name some good candidates here: Shane O'Neill, Anthony Van England, yep. Gilbert yep. Crockett. Fuck yeah! Yeah. Okay. Never mind. I think it's Gilbert <laughs> already. Yeah, Gilbert. Yeah. Oh, awesome. yeah. I knew it. I knew it was gonna be. You. Sebastian's in love with that whole fucking crew. He likes the alien crew. Yeah, the, that was the best lineup. <laughs> Like, the end of Workshop was the best line. <laughs> that is, hey, man, you can't hate on any of those dudes. They're uh, all good as fuck. Would you, you, you think it's the best line of ever, huh? Uh, I don't know. In my, like, in my term of skating, like, what I know, 
Like, I can't really say, like, before I started skating, be like, oh, yeah, that was the best one, but I didn't even skate right, back right, then. Right. Like, yeah. as I've been skating, I'd say that was probably the best one. You got Heath, you got Grant Taylor, you got Gilbert, Jake Johnson. It's just great. I'm a, I'm a Jake Johnson fan. I like Jake Johnson. Yeah, Jake Johnson's gnarly, man. The truth. Mm. How about... You know, I don't know if you guys are done with the topic. <laughs> huh? I just had something to say. Just side topic. Did you guys see Bobby DeKaiser's two up? Yeah. Can we talk about that? I want to talk Dude, about that too. He brought out the he brought out the MBD. He brought out the fucking MBD. I don't know if you guys remember. It was one of the King of the Roads that Zero was on. But one of the challenges, like the crazy challenge, was back 360 to nose manual, and that dude did it, but not. Yeah, Bobby did it. It was the last trick. Not only did he no, do no, it... No, I mean, I know that he did it in the two-up. I mean, did, it, did someone do it on King of the Road? Oh, no. The thing was, Chris Cole talked about it, and he was like, that was the one trick that, like, none of us could do. Like, it's just too hard to do. I mean, dude, that's... How do you wrap that's that one around your head? Yeah. I saw that, and I was like, dude, this kid's like... I, I've, I've already, like, been backing him for a while, but I haven't, like, really... Huh? Who is he again? Bobby DeKaiser, he's he just got put on Habitat about like Habitat. a couple yeah, years ago. Yeah, I remember now. But back dude, three, it was back three oh, alley nose manual. Back three alley nose manual, one eighty out in his in his little uh, two up thing, up. and then and then in the end, like it cuts to black, and then they show like a B roll side of it, and he does it nolly three sixty out like casually. That dude has crazy uh, balance. Look it up. What's his name again? Bobby DeKaiser. It's one of the eight two ups. Who do you think's gonna win the two up, Sebastian? To be honest, uh, I think I just did. I don't know if it worked because it's like the, I, I don't really go on the barracks site too much. I kind of just catch the videos on YouTube. Yeah, but I think it went through. But I, I, I mean, just that trick put Bobby on top for a while. But then I, I think like a lot of the people didn't really use the obstacles that well. And then I saw Chris Haslam, and I really liked his because he actually used them. But other than that, I'd also like Walker Ryan because he yeah, just. You, gotta, you have to use the obstacles, man. I don't yeah, think the honest used any of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, neither, I neither did Bobby up. really, but neither did PJ, PJ really neither. Yeah, and P, to be honest, PJ's was was good, but it's like it seems like that kind of skating is kind of dated now. Like you see those tricks, and they've been done like to death. Those mm -hmm. combos. I don't know, man. I thought it was kind of fucked up that he did them all. I like, I, I like, like how thing. you think, Sebastian. I like how you think. That's very intelligent. I mean, I don't know. I was kind of thinking about this today before we went on the podcast, but, like, when I see stuff, like, for Jocelyn, like, how he's been coming up and, like, people are hyping him up to be, like, the best right now, I, it reminds me of, like, Mike Moe, Fully Flared. Uh-huh, I don't yeah. know if brought this yeah, up to you. Yeah. So, man, so, like, you're he looks, so fucking smart. God damn you it. Look back, you look back and you're like, okay, he does. That makes so much sense. Big flip. That makes so much sense. Yeah, Jocelyn is the Mike Mo. But maybe he's not going to injure himself. Maybe. But, like, you look back, it's really funny. You, we really watched that part, and he's doing back tail big flip, and then right afterwards he does switch back tail big flip, and it's like any kid on Instagram could do that at this point. Wait, what? Damn! That was nasty! Wait, what? I don't know about oh, my God! Man, that was nasty! I mean, it's, tr it's kind of true. That back three see, like, nose manual... Oh, I thought you were saying what I was like. <laughs> you're saying that what I said. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't agree with what you're saying at all. Really? Uh, I mean, it was innovative, and it was like the craziest shit at that time. Any kid on Instagram can do that. That's fucked up, dude. I mean, there was one person that could do it back then, and it was like PJ, Mike Mo, like the tech dudes. But then now you got like 10, 20, like probably a bunch of kids who could do it with that trick. Okay, you know? I get, like I, get like I get your, uh, I get your metaphor a little bit more now. Uh, I don't know where that came from. That was just a who do you think note. will win the two up contest? Uh, Medina. Debo. Who? That was a Debo, Debo too. Oh, okay. Why not? Why not your? Why not your 2015 Sodi? Uh, his was the <laughs> shit, dude. But I just like Sebo's more, honestly. I'm, I've been just a fan of Sebo for years now, man. Dang, him skate Stone is pretty gnarly. I'm gonna He's watch you. Then I'll watch your 2015 Scare of the Year uh, two up real quick again. Yeah, his is fucked up. Don't get me wrong. Sody goes hard. Uh, I got to be honest. Uh, that Bobby guy that you told me about, his back three nose man was the only thing that impressed me. It's the only thing that stood out. I mean, the whole thing was pretty dope. Yeah. But I mean, like, 
pop show think, Emmanuel I, from I, Big I, Out. Like, I feel like that's I think pretty crazy. Feels is crazier than his. Who I guess. Was? Damn, Shane. Yeah, Shane's stupid. He's doing he's doing grinds from benches to manuals to rails. Saudi. Yeah, I'll give it. Uh, but that uh that last trick, if you didn't mention it, it's just the way how he got on that back through nose manual. I like that you mentioned Chris Cole in it too because I like hearing other guys to hear, especially talented skateboarders, say they have hard times on certain tricks and then there's that one guy that comes out of nowhere and says, you know what, I could do that shit and I'm going to do that shit. And you, That's you, a fucked up trick to think about, man. And I like how he brought it out in like this, which I mean, everyone's going to see it, but like maybe he could have put it in a part first, but he's just like, ah, you know what, I could do this in something I'm going to film for the barracks. Now he can put it in a part on something bigger. Probably, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna, I liked how you painted PJ's... Uh, the, the way you talked about PJ made a lot of sense to me. So I don't know if it's true, but I'm going to watch it right now. Because I'm like... I mean, uh, I'm like uh, I think it was... Yeah, it was you, Sebastian. So, yeah, I don't really watch the barrack stuff. Yeah, me neither. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I really, I really like Battle of the Barracks. I have nothing. I have nothing yeah, I'll, I'll watch that. I have nothing to get. I just I feel like it's a little uh, it's a little uh, saturated for me. Yeah, true. I'll watch like the Battle Commanders and stuff like that, but other oh, than that, absolutely. like that's a decent thing. Oh, absolutely. But the the bangins, although I did see a good bang in a day. Who who was it? Someone had a good bang in a day. Couldn't tell you the last time I watched one of those. Oh, it was um uh, Dane Berman. Ooh. Yeah, I like Dane Berman's. It's, it was new or is old? It's new. It's new, new. Like new, new, new. This fucking guy. I, I, I see your point of uh, I see your point a little bit on PJ. I'll probably get hate for that, and I'm ready. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna say he's not like one of the best. You're not. You're not. You're not nowhere saying that it's not impressive, and you're nowhere. You're 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 nowhere saying that it's not uh. It's not technical, or or even even to keep it basic, you're not saying he's not good at all. Yeah, no, he's like he's been the best for a good 15 years now, <clears throat> like on that shit. Let's see Theotis's. I want to see you saying he doesn't use anything, huh? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Theotis at all. Maybe like the smallest mani pad to make a step up for another mani pad. Do a half cab double flip. I'm sure he does. In a tray flip nose manual, right? I don't remember, man. Much love to Theodos Weasley. Yeah, I agreed, but I don't know about I whatever. Are you a manual guy, Medina? Guy? What? Are you a manual guy? No, I wish I was. I need to act my age, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. You need to stop jumping over shit, seriously, dude. I need to get really like manually balanced one day. Just it's figure all it out, man. What? Like, I can't do a nose manual to save my life. Really? Yeah, I, 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 I can do a, I can do Manny kickflips sometimes, and I can do kickflip to Manny, but that's as tech as I probably will ever get in my entire well, life. I, yeah, I can do kickflip manuals. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think I've seen you do one before, actually. Kickflip manual, and then I can also... I can kickflip into stuff. I have done a... I locked into a really, really good kickflip back tail one day. And then, uh, uh, kick flip, and then a kickflip 50. Hey, I'm not, I'm, I'm, if I'm going to do kickflips and stuff, it has to be backside for me. Frontside stuff, I can't be doing that Heath Kirchart kickflip uh, frontside 50 on blue rails. like That's that. such a hard trick, man. Yeah, for sure. Your, your boy Gilbert got him real good, though, man. I mean, because he pops like five feet higher than the actual he obstacle. He's he has... Have you seen his... Um, his uh his fallen video part? Yeah, I actually rewatched that before going to the Vans video. Sick. Just That's to like cool. refresh myself on like a full Didn't part. The Gil Didn't fan, man. What's the Gil stuff, man? That's Didn't cool. his shoe like win like the best shoe of last year or some shit like that? Mm, I thought it was Chima. Because I just read the interview in Thrasher and he said that his his shoe is like number one right now for Vans. But maybe Gilbert's was last year. Who knows? Yeah, I think Gilbert's was voted number one in Thrasher last year. I'm pretty I'm happy, positive. I'm happy Gilbert got a shoe, man. I mean, he deserves it. He's good as fuck. And it's definitely a lot easier to get a shoe on Vans than it is on <laughs> Nike. <laughs> yeah, like, okay, there you go. There's another example. How the fuck does that make sense? I don't know, man. That 
uh, it's uh, 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 that should make sense. Give the corporate card all day, man. Just throw that corporate card all day. Say this is bullshit. <laughs> what do you got? Hey, hey, you, know really the problem, crazy, you know, man. part of the problem is it's it's your boy Shane. He says, "Fuck, if I got this, I gotta design a shoe, and I have to skate that shit. I have to skate a different shoe that's not a Janowski's. Just make a Janowski. Just make a fucking Janowski." I did the Janowski's. You could easily turn in that, that little ro- skate-free bullshit technology into a Janowski easily. You know how bad that would be for him? If he, he was wow. like, yeah, I got, I got this pro shoe well. It, it's on the market. But I, I'm going to stick to this shoe here. He wouldn't do that. Nike would never let him. I know he wouldn't. I know they wouldn't. But could you imagine? Could you imagine that? No, I can't because that would never happen. All right, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up in a little bit. So Wait, let's finish. I got let's finish an update. Uh, you got what? I'll let, do you guys got another topic? I'll save this for the last. Yeah, I got uh, another topic. Yeah, Medina got topics. Go ahead and lay it on me. Uh, I got one more. It's um Chris Jocelyn at El Toro. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's that that that. a big one. That was a big one. So uh, you guys are text messaging because we have group text messages, and uh, uh, I think uh, when you guys said big flip. And I, I read uh, Trey Flip, I believe, too, right? I said both of those. <laughs> okay, you but said... Okay, so I so agree actually, what you, you, you thought what? You thought what, um, Medina? Trey Flip, for sure, dude. He's got the best one in the game right now. Yeah, Trey Flip. I, I called Trey. Because, I mean, if, you, if you're going to throw the Trey Bomb, you always want to be the first skateboarder. If you have a good Trey Flip, you want to be the first one to throw it out there. You just That's a hell of a fucking tray flip, man. want to yeah, throw that tray easy. flip. The, the, people have been demanding a fucking tray flip on that. Demand tray flips on Hollywood. Demand tray flips on Toro. Demand tray flips on Carlsbad. Ring Con. The Gons Gap. The local neighborhood parking lot. You want to throw the tray flip down. You want to be the first. But it's like you're I, not going to be not psyched on I a trick agree. that goes I, down. If I could, if I could. I also say Big Spin. Oh, exactly. God. Landing switch? No I way. Also say, oh, you know what? You got me. You fucking got me. You're right. It's not... You're right. Good point, Medina. Good point. Not the no big... Way. Not the big switch. Well, we just the big spin is going to... Is going to flip. What wouldn't happen to Sheckler trying to land switch, man. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. So that... It can't be big flip either. It cannot be the big flip either then. If he ain't big spinning, he ain't big flipping. It's no. Good. So, no, shut the fuck up. It's either going to be the tray flip and maybe maybe a hard flip. I want to see a hard flip. Yeah, that'd be fucked. That was the other, like, option. I, and not, like, maybe, not the big flip. So, maybe so fuck, a front fuck side you, flip. Sebastian. Fuck you, because I got the fuck you on the big spin. It's going to be the tray flip or a hard flip. All right. I'm glad we're talking about this, because we're making some constructive uh, uh, theories here, and I like it. I want full cap flip. I want. I want to know what. What do you viewers think? What do you think? Just leave it down below. Be a, you think it'll be a big spin? A big flip? A full on, cap flip. What else did he do? What else did he throw out? Full Nolly cap heel. Someone say Nolly heel. Nolly heel. Ghetto heel? bird. Oh, Ghetto Nolly bird. heel. That'd be that'd be sick. He's got a really good one. Nolly Ghetto heel. Bird. What, Ghetto what, bird. What else? What? Ghetto, Ghetto bird. Full Ghetto cap flip. Bird. He, he doesn't have a bad frontside flip, but... Yeah, I, don't I thought frontside flip could be one of them, too, because that's an easier trick to land, like, in the switch position, like, than a lot of other ones. Hmm. So, basically, he can try anything, and we'll just see what he does. No, I mean, play, it's got to be a I fucking like trick. Probably a trick. I like this discussion. It's, it's got to be a fucking trick flip. We're talking about the guy who fucking... Who ollied over Wallenberg and stared at the fucking camera, bro. Oh, he did that, huh? That's fucked up, man. But he did it from the third one. That's still See? fucked up. I mean, Uh-oh. still. Oh, he yeah. did it from the third step? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that, but still, fuck, that doesn't mean a shit to me. Yeah, no, it's it's still gnarly. <laughs> yeah, like, that's extreme. And he did, he did the 50-50 that they showed in that fucking... That's uh, my high school. That's my high school. Is it really? That thing's... There's no run-up to that, so he had to put plywood down, fucking hose board. Yeah, that thing... Yeah, that thing looks a little steep. And the other side is goes straight into a bush, and people have tried skating that. Do you think, Medina, are you, how are you on your ollie game when it comes to ollieing stairs? I don't even do them. I'd rather just try a trick. <laughs> so, so you're not good at it, huh? I'd rather do a front shove. Okay. Do, do you think, 
right, well, that doesn't help. Let yeah, me ask, well, I want to ask, want to ask if you thought you could ollie the third block of Wallenberg. No, no way. Sebastian? It's too long. It's too fucking long. It... Sebastian, how's your ollie game? Are you, are you good at ollieing stairs? I used to. When I was a kid, that's, like, mostly what I did, just ollie off, like, as many stairs as we could, because that would be, like, who's better or whatever. Right, right. I've done, like, 12, I'm pretty sure. So, I don't know. That's really not too crazy. But I've never been to Wallenberg, personally, but I'd give it a try just to see what's up. It's so long. I know, yeah. It's, it's pretty, it looks long on video regardless, but, I mean, why not just try it? What are the I'll topics we have lined up? Because i got to get going. What are the topics we got here? I got one last one. If you guys don't have one, I got last I'm one. I'm good. All right. Luke, let's throw it out there, Sebastian. So on a previous episode, we brought up the topic of Chase Gabor and the screwdriver incident. Uh -oh. Yeah, but you know what? That, that, never, that, that never made it live. Okay. Well, so we personally it, discussed. Okay, well, let, let's, let, let, let's paint a little bit of the colorful story here. God damn it! We have to do this again. <laughs> we have to do it again, and I want I want to hear it again. So I I I'll, I'll paint I'll paint the canvas a little bit. So so I wasn't aware of the story. Sebastian informs me that Chase Gabor talked about they, they, uh it was it was on Weekend Buzz and they were just trying to uh it was um I uh it was Erica I believe it was Erica then Robert Brink or Robert Brink and, and then the and then the other homie uh they they're, they're trying to they're just trying to they're like Come on, let's talk about this. Let's talk about that. And Chase is like, nope, I'm not gonna talk. I'm not telling. So like, I can't tell that story. I can't tell that one either. So the, the story they and then so so Robert brings up says, what about the screwdriver incident? And then he's like, oh, I'll talk about that one. So <laughs> it's a story. It's a story. Correct me if I'm wrong, Sebastian, of where Chase Gabor rapes his friend while he's sleeping with a screwdriver. No, 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 no. They tied him up. They, like, the neighborhood kids, like, tied up one of the kids, and then they sodomized them with the they screwdriver. They sodomized them with the screwdriver. Yeah. Some so, fucked up shit. So, so what happens is the episode goes live, of course. So the one story decides to tell, he's like, fuck, I shouldn't have told the story. Then they take it off weekend buzz. They no, okay, the, the best part is that thing went up, and, like, not really too many people, like, made a big fuss about it, uh -huh. but then... On Slap, it just blew up, and everyone was just talking shit, and like people, like I got blocked by Jace Kabor, and that's why I think when I got blocked by the barracks, and everyone's just like trying to bring more attention oh, you were, to it. You were one of the kids talking shit. Yeah, I mean, all of us were kind of talking shit, but that video got taken down and then re-uploaded, I think, with a with a re-edited version. And Without then, the story. I think so. And then I think as of today, I think that whole thing's gone. Because what happened the, today... The whole, the whole episode's gone. I think I so. It. You think so? I it is gone. That. It's Wait. gone? Yeah, it's been gone. Okay, but the reason why, I'm, I'm guessing, or like why it got brought up again, is this update. The first uh, big person who's not, like I guess, one of us, like just regular skaters, like a pro skater actually spoke up about this and commented to Chase Gabor. And can you guys guess who it is? You guys probably won't guess. It's like kind of like the randomest person. So so big, name, ahead, big name. One of the biggest names. We actually mentioned his name on this show already. Today? Gilbert yes. Crockett. No. Older. He? PJ Ladd? Older. Older. Eric Hossen. Eric Hossen. Close. Steve Think America. Brown. America. Gosh. Think America. Andrew Close. Reynolds. Nope. Oh, Mark. Nope. Brian Herman. Nope. Older. Ed Templeton. <laughs> oh, sick. Ed, Ed Templeton, Templeton yeah. about it. Ed Templeton replied to a post and said, you should really explain yourself on the issue of the screwdriver. I feel it's better to be forthright rather than secretive, especially if you feel you have nothing to hide. I don't even know you, but I see a witch hunt starting, and the best way out is to prove you're not a witch. I don't think people should lose their jobs and lives over a past mistake if it's such a mistake or transgression that can be remedied or amends apologies be made. And you instantly this comment got deleted. Uh, okay, all right. Well, okay, well I, want, I, want, I want facts first. All right, so Ed Templeton commented on that uh, about Chase Gabor, uh, Ch Chase's screwdriver incident on what platform? Instagram. He left it on his picture? 
I'm guessing so. Someone got a screenshot of it. Awesome. Like the actual comment. Interesting. And and Great. that's on, and that's on Slap. Uh, I just found a copy of it on Twitter because I guess Templeton re- retweeted it onto his because someone got it and then sent it to him because he got wow. like deleted instantly. Wow. Pretty um, crazy. So the, the okay. So I know that much now. Now we do not know for a fact because you sound uncertain about the video taken down. About the video being deleted. We can just check right now. Okay. Probably... Well, go, go ahead and check that because I don't I don't want I don't want us I don't want us painting this cake making this cake and we have no it's frost. So let's let's make sure we have the frosting first. But I mean that's pretty cool There's that a, there was a pro. I'd also like to comment because I had no idea about the screwdriver incident. <laughs> this photo, I'll never forget the photo, man. Uh, that oh. Sebastian showed me. I think it was on Slap. It was a, it was a, it was a guy. It was either a guy holding a screwdriver and had this. Oh, the change.org. Change.org. The change.org petition. The, oh was, my god, that fucking petition was so funny, bro. The, the change. There was a petition oh, on Facebook. Oh, no. What was it? J- just saying no to screwdriver incidences. No, it was. Oh shoot, let me just find it. Oh, that was excellent. You know what? S- send me the link and then I'll I'll share my I'll share my uh I'll share it on the podcast here. Here, let me get it. Uh, I know how to do that. Let's see. Share my screen. Yeah, how do you do that? Uh, share. All right. Here's my screen here. How do I wait? What? How do I fucking? I think that's just showing like what you're looking at. Let me yeah, just. Yeah, no, send. I want to show the viewers it. So. Oh, okay, okay. Here, here you go. There's the link. All right, all right. No one talk. No one talk here. All right, that that photo right there. That photo is <laughs> fucking hilarious. Suspend Chase Gabor and publicly acknowledge what he did was wrong. There was <laughs> 299 supporters. There was only 201 needed. There's 201 needed to make 500. <laughs> Maybe after the podcast, it'll reach up to 500. It's closed. You can't put. You can't. Yeah, put that's there. fucking excellent. But yeah, just a just a bit of an update. <laughs> so is, that the, is, is so the video? Good. Is the video? It's the edited version. I just checked it. It's edited. edited. So yeah, it does. Edited. It does not have his screwdriver, correct? But you can find it. But I it, have it. That's the one I showed you guys. So I'm like, yeah. yeah. I have it in my slap uh, message box. It says on change.org, while appearing on the popular ride channel program Weekend Buzz, Barracks filmer Chase Gabor admitted he raped someone with a screwdriver and then dismissed it as a joke. Rape is not a joke. Chase Gabor is a fixture. Is a fixture? Yeah. They should put a figure. You can put both. That means the yeah, same thing. Yeah, why can't they put fixture? I, I'm not familiar with that. On a That's popular a website, much. barracks.com, where he is in contact with minors. <laughs> I see what they're, they're they're painting him is a is a rapist with a screwdriver. Totally, that's him in the picture apparently. You know what? Yeah, you know what though? That's I'll agree that what this screwdriver incident. It's not funny. Yeah, it really isn't. It's just a fucking. But like, but, but this thing. is but, but this is this is serious shit though. You're saying that he raped someone. He, well, he said did, he did it. Yeah, the fact that not even that someone found out like he did that, it's just that he publicly like passed it off as like, a joke. Crazy stuff. Yeah. Why are we still talking about it though? That's I mean it's over. It's pretty old. Um, it is pretty old. It's just I just found up on it. Boy, look, look, look who mentioned it right here, this guy. Who? This is, Sebastian Corral? This guy, Sebastian. Yeah, he does that. This is something me and my friends are very passionate about. <laughs> do, do you have a problem with Chase Gabor, Sebastian? No, I, I actually saw him at the barracks, and he was really nice. But uh, it's just—it's always in the back of my head, you know. Oh, you did tell me yeah. that. From the town next to mine. Yeah. Well, well anyway, that's well, what that, I had to that say. That was a great highlight to end the podcast. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys next week. Until then, uh, we'll do the shout-outs. We'll start off with the Sebastian Corral. But you gotta give a shout out to Chase Gabor right now. Hell no. I'll shout out M. Templeton though, cause that dude's he's he's running shit. 
Okay. Well, he's running the shit right here. I'm going to give a shout-out to this man right here. His name's Dr. King. He's Dr. King right here. Ironically, he's next to the supposed racist Disney. Yeah, he's pretty racist. But you know what? Fuck it. These guys are standing next to each other regardless. He's being removed. I've been saying this for weeks. I'm going to remove sorry. him. If you guys know who that is, I'll give you a sticker. No, I won't. I, I have no stickers to give out. Michael Medina, who you got a shout out for? Uh, last year's Saudi. Where's he at? Wes Kramer. Where's Wes? Is he up there yet? Yeah, Wes Kramer. Wes. Kramer. For life. For life. Hey, but uh, hey, but no, really though, my shout out is for uh, Andy Chirac. Yo, Andy, let me get a board, bro. He really wants a board. Hey, I'm serious. Uh, if, if Andrew Chirac could give him a board, that'd be wonderful. And plan B, if you give him a, a one of those black eyes boards, we need to find out if it's the same. I got to find out if these boards are good for myself, man. I'm actually like, okay, I talk about, like, I make that Andy Chirac joke or whatever, like, not even a joke, but, like, I fuck with it or whatever. But, like, dude, that guy has, he, what, how does he do these numbers with these, like, this YouTube, like, audience? Are these boards good? Like, what is the quality of these boards? I never wrote one. I couldn't tell you. I've never seen one. I've never seen any. Like, I, I'm from Chicago and shit, and, like, I've never seen anyone out here with one. Not once. I saw a kid with a Revive shirt. That was pretty cool. Oh, shit. I feel like it's like if you don't watch YouTube, that you, you, you like, almost don't even know what it is. Uh, that's, the, that, that's the beauty of skateboarding. Oh, you and know. also, if you're going I to skateboard, know what I'm huh? Huh? if any of our viewers are uh, going to stay flared in Chicago on Sunday, I'll be there. Fucking say what up. I'm hyped. I'm super hyped. Super hyped. All right. We'll look out for the pizza eater, Michael Medina. Look out for Sebastian Corral. I'll be I'll be busy at work, so you will not be seeing me at any of these things. Uh, we'll go ahead and top it off to Medina drinking a Fody. Cheers. Take care, guys. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Much love. Stay skating. Stay safe. We'll catch you next week.